Our next poet, Dennis Cooley, is the author of 20 books of poetry, and he's edited many more. Honestly, it is difficult to choose from among Mr. Cooley's honors and achievements. The list is very long. Uh, for example, I could mention that he was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Manitoba Book Awards. Or that he was instrumental in the creation of Turnstone Press, 1976, which continues to print dozens of great titles every year, 40 years later. Or that he was the source of what is now an accepted form, the Prairie Long Poem. Perfect for those prairie drives. <laughs> Mostly, though, I want to acknowledge Mr. Cooley's unstoppable evolution as a writer. Over the course of his career as a professor of Canlet, an editor, a co-creator, and president of the Manitoba Writers Guild, he has never failed to make something new happen in his own work as a writer. The poetry has always taken its own way, the form always in flux, moving towards new structural territory while remaining rooted in themes and ideas of the prairies. Rob McLennan has written that Mr. Cooley in his recent volume, uh -huh. Abyssidarium, that's my version of that. <laughs> Mr. McLennan said that Mr. Cooley is writing his way down to basic elements, methodically working through the development of language and writing, various ancient histories and prairie landscapes and books and writers he has read and admired over the years. There is much more that could be said about this writer, but I think it's best to let the poetry say the rest. Please welcome to the stage Dennis Cooley. 